Welcome everyone. Uh, Wednesday night vinyasa. I'm Sherry and we're just going to begin um, sitting. I want to share something with you. Uh, I'm just going to check who's sending me a message. Let's see. <laughs> Happy Wednesday everyone. Um, a little disclaimer before we begin actually. Um, uh, I have been having just a little issue with um, some feedback during the class. So if that happens, which fingers crossed, hopefully it won't, but if it does, you might see me disappear for a moment while I refresh the screen, but don't go anywhere. Just take a breath or two and I'll be right back. Um, we're going to start sitting. So um, happy full moon, which was yesterday, and it was amazing. So we're going to be doing a nice lunar flow um, this evening, but I thought that I would also share just, you know, a ritual um, that I like to do around um, the full moon. And that is to recharge my crystals, to drag them in front of the, the across the floor. So if you have crystals of, of um, any kind, then it's a great, it, you always want to cleanse them periodically, you know, kind of feel when they need them or <laughs> monthly, every other month, it's up to you. Uh, but just the season for, for cleansing while well, in spring. So what I would suggest, and you could do it tonight, although optimum, optimally you would put the crystals out maybe the night before the full moon the night of the full moon and the night following the full moon. So a few nights. Um, and you want to put them out when it's a clear night, I think. I think it would be pretty clear tonight. I'm going to try it, but you want to put them in a place where they're safe outside, or you could put them, you know, in your window. And make sure they get plenty of exposure. And you want to make sure that you pull them in and away from the sunlight before um, it's too bright in the morning, so that's the thing. You want to, you don't want to mix the lunar energy with the solar energy necessarily. Um, uh, for what I'm, for what I'm offering to you, I'm here. So just you know, little rituals are amazing. They keep us in tune with um, so many rhythms and and cycles that are vital and in alignment with the cosmos. So if that's helpful, then. Take care of your crystals, and if you don't have any crystals, then you can maybe go out and do a little moon bathing yourself. Clear your own energy. So let's start. We're going to start seated, and I'm going to sit back on my heels with the knees wide and the, the feet crossing behind me. And we're going to do a little heart kriya because full moon energy is all. Well, isn't everything about the heart, but we can always just like we'll take in the energy of illumination and radiance and you know when you think about your body and your soul, it kind of is right here, right? This is who you are. So let's begin with a little bit of Ahar Kriya. So you're going to bring your arms out and the elbow stay soft and you're going to take little tiny taps on the heart, like a little drum beat, I just have And your breath is just relaxed, but it's there, it's full, and maybe you close your eyes. And this is our music for right now. So awakening the heart and clearing the heart very gently. We're not punching, <laughs> clearly. We're, we're like, it's a gentle knock, it's a vibration into your sternum, right on the sternum, or you can even shift it a little bit to the left or right of your sternum, which is a little bit even inside the shoulder, which is a lung point, and you can move between the lung points and the sternum, have some fun, maybe this is what they meant when they used to beat our chests, heart fire. A few more, a few more, and welcome, my friends. 
Deeply inhaling through the nose, exhaling from the mouth, and gently place your hands on your heart center. Take a deep breath in and just feel the shift. Breathing in and out. So we're getting right into the body, the systems in the body, the nervous system, the breath helps us facilitate and regulate. So again, deep inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the nose or mouth and we'll gently open the eyes. We're gonna come on to cat and cow. So turn towards the front of your mat. Bring the hands under your shoulders and the knees underneath your head. So we're gonna curl the toes under. And start to bend the spine, drop the belly on the inhale. Really enjoy, really enjoy. The other thing I want to say, exhale round, about the full moon is that it's usually like the goddess and she's in her full, like, she's a little, like, blinged out. You know, she's radiant, she's, you know, so I got my earrings on, I got a little cashmere sweater on, I got my velvet little capri pants on, however you want to get a little dolled up, you know. And so we want to we want to be in a place that where we feel that right. It's not external. When you look at the moonlight, it's beautiful to visually see, but to, you feel it right. You have a visceral reaction to the illumination. So we want to feel into our own light and beauty. It's coming from within. So we'll we'll allow these movements to be very full. This full moon is in. Ah, it's in Libra, and Libra is ruled by Venus. The goddess of love. All right, enough on that. So we'll go in and we'll breathe and we'll enjoy our own radiance, our own light. And we're gonna move in a mandala eventually, and I'll catch you up to how we're gonna do that. But for right now, let's go into downward dog on the exhale. Take it forward into a soft up dog or cobra on the inhalation. So feeling your way in, please feel the way we shift our inner state is one of the ways that we can do that is by feeling, moving, breathing, observing, happy to be here with you. Facilitate all of those things collectively. So forward and back, and if this is too intense for your body, or if you know it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel safe in any way, then you come to all fours. And let's hold our down dog. Breathing in. And breathing out. And let's raise the right leg up on the inhalation. And gently exhale, step your right leg forward and lower down onto the left knee. So you may want some padding under that knee. Anjanayasana, we're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows broad across the chest. Let the arms go wide, lower the hands, frame your right foot. Slide back to your down dog on the exhale. Press evenly through all, all ten fingers. Inhale your left leg up. And we'll exhale, step the left leg forward. Lower the right knee. Big breath in, arms arise. Here we are. And exhale, opening the heart center. Sliding back into your downward dog. With your inhale, come forward into your high plank. Let's lower down onto the belly. Exhaling. And we'll come into Shalabhasana. So we'll reach the arms back. Interlace the fingers. And gently rise. Upper body and lower body. And feel. Right? The reminder here is to feel into your back body. Find your breath. Feeling into the visceral cavity 
of your ribs, torso, and slowly exhale, re release down with the hands under the shoulders, pressing back into child's pose, and feel that reset. This is our rhythm, everyone. Take a full inhale. Long deep exhale, maybe from the mouth. Let some sound come out. We're making our own music. We're listening internally. Inhaling, rising up. And exhaling, down dog. Now we'll take the right leg up again on the inhale. Let's come into Anjana Asana again. No rush, though. Keep the right leg extended. Maybe a little more stretch. Through that right leg, left leg, arms, spine, and exhale. Bring it forward and lower. Inhale the arms up. Gently unwinding, exhaling. Sliding back into down dog. Left leg up, inhale. And exhale. Anjani Asana. Low with your breath. It's starting to reveal to you. Try to keep it long and deep. Down dog. <sighs> Observing internally, releasing externally. You can exhale from the mouth. Ah. Inhale, come forward into your high plank. And lower down into the belly again. And this time, let's actually come to the forearms for Sphinx Pose. Or some of you may elevate off the elbows. Go slow. We're going to be here for about 10 breaths. Sphinx pose or seal. Maybe close your eyes. And even as you close your eyes, just sense where there may be a source of light coming from within you, from around you. Be fearless and breathing deeply. Holy, fully inhaling. We're looking for the peak. We're looking for the top of that inhale around the full moon energy. We're going to slowly exhale, release down, everyone. And back into your child's pose, Balasana, hands up to the shoulders. Stretching your hips back. Breathing in, keep the arms stretched out in front, maybe turning the palms upward towards the sky. One more breath in. And we'll exhale from the palms over, inhale, rise up, all fours, and then Adho Mukha Svanasana again, downward dog. Last time through Anjanayasana. Right leg will lift. Inhale. Enjoy. Usually full moon is like celebratory. Like I made it through that last big moon cycle, whatever you were building from the new moon. We're going to exhale, set that right leg forward. Lower the knee, feet as wide as your hips. Inhale. Deep breath in and exhale, arms flow back and around, downward dog, and inhale, left leg up, breath in, exhale, at the end of the exhale, step your left leg forward and lower knee. Inhale, lunge, inhale, radiate, big release from your mouth, exhaling, hands come down, 
Take it back into your downward dog. And let's inhale, come forward into high plank and either cobra or uh, maybe you're moving into upward dog, but let's add a little low plank. And then cobra. Exhale. Following through your vinyasa. And then we'll walk the feet forward and come and hang up over the legs. Grabbing opposite elbows, feet as wide as your hips. Knees soft, be generous. In your breath, in your stance. Little shake of the head. And we're going to come to standing nice and slowly, dropping the tailbone down, roll up through your spine. I'm going to turn towards you for a moment and I'm going to, we're going to all raise our arms up. And exhale, bring the hands out to the sides, bend the knees. We're going to flush, clear it out. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale out from the mouth. Bend the knees, soft ankles, soft hips, and again, inhale. And exhale, let the hands come to the heart center, just landing on your belly and heart. Close your eyes. Feel, feel your feet on the earth, softening. Let the stress drain out from your bones, from your muscles, from your breath. Just drain out the stress. Keep the stilling out. We're going to come into this flow, this mandala, and it's going to be a little weird because at times I'm going to have my back to you, but let's, let's flow with faith and my voice. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be clear for y'all. And let's have some fun. The idea is that the, the, the flow is, is non-linear. And so it's circular, it's the, very much in that lunar kind of energy of, you know, starting from a, a new moon, growing, 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 growing into a full moon, right? And we can, we, we feel that. So let's celebrate that, right? And everything that's come to pass, which has been a very intense last moon cycle. And so allow yourself to feel that, you know, what's worked for you, what hasn't, what's shifted. Hello, a lot of things, but let's just be with that. Let's not label it. Let's just, this is part of the practice. Like a ritual, we come back to it and it strengthens us in all of these ways of awareness and our body and our nervous system and our spirit. Yay. Okay. So here we go. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. Big breath. Let's take a few moments to just enjoy this vertical rise, this planting of the feet on the earth, the heart, right? Come into that heart. Give it your awareness. Take a deep inhale into the belly, lower ribs, upper chest. We're going to exhale and fold on down. Take a full breath in and a long deep breath out. And Keeping your left leg forward, step your right leg back, finding Virabhadrasana of one. So warrior one pose. Left knee over the left heel. Inhale the arms up. And maybe some circular movement. We can interlace the fingers, point the index fingers. And more than anything, you want to move in a way that is maintaining a level of curiosity and innocence and playfulness. One more full breath in. We're gonna exhale, everyone turn to your right. Yes, you'll have your back to me. We're finding goddess pose. And you can bring your hands to your thighs. Just pause here, toes will turn out slightly. Sit deep into your hips. Deep into your pelvis. Feel the inner thighs starting to stretch. 
the muscles in the backs of the legs starting to get to contract a little and engage. Spine is long, navel towards the spine. Deep inhale and exhale. And then we'll reach the arms wide. So circle the arms in front of you and then open them. Spread through the fingers, the palms of your hands. Take a deep inhale. Exhale all the breath. And then we'll inhale, we'll straighten the legs, the arms come overhead. We'll turn the toes in. Exhale, bring the hands to your hips and fold forward for Prasarita Padottanasana. The hands can lower down onto the mat. Maybe they walk forward for a straddle, downward dog. And we'll just see, we'll just see, we'll feel, we'll hear, we'll sense. Long limbs, long spine. Deep stretch for your body, so your inner body, right? So use your breath to stretch your inner body. Opening it up, the subtle planes. And then we'll walk the hands under the shoulders. Listen to me, my friends. We're going to take it to triangle over the right leg, left toes. You're going to turn in. Your right toes simply turn to the back of your mat, stay low to the ground. You walk your hands to the right, and your right hand can be on your shin or a block if you have one with you. Lift the arms, stacks over the right. Deep inhale and exhale. And the next part is balance, so Ardha Chandrasana. Slide your right hand forward and pick up your left leg. Just a couple of breaths, keeping the breath long and deep. Balancing the nervous system, left side, right side. We'll just call it the autonomic nervous system. We're going to exhale, set the left foot to the right foot. And bow over your legs in a forward fold. Keep the knees soft. And just rinse your body with your breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. A long, deep exhale, maybe from your mouth. And we'll keep the left leg forward. The right leg goes back. You're in Anjaneyasana over the left leg. So we'll lower the right knee. Inhale the arms up. And then let's exhale, bring the hands behind the back and interlace your fingers, if you can find that. If not, just bring your hands behind you, maybe resting on your low back. So really check in, make sure you can hold this pose comfortably. There's a lot going on. There's the knee, there's the hips, the knees, the hips, the heart, the shoulders. <laughs> So we're here for a few breaths so that you can find your way in and know yourself in this moment. Mark yourself in this moment and see if you'd like to go a little bit deeper. Maybe you allow the hips to come a little more forward and you free the arms up. Last part, deep inhale. Deep exhale. We'll lower the hands. To the inside of your of the left leg, and curl the right toes and lift your right knee. Pivot to your right. You'll see my back, and then it's skandhasana side to side. <sighs> Hands stay low. The hips glide low side to side, and we'll come to turn over the right leg, finding crescent warrior. So it's your right leg is forward. Bend your right knee over your right heel, inhale the arms up. Exhale your right hand to your right hip. <laughs> we're going to come into a little lateral stretch in crescent. So we're going to reach over on the inhale with your left arm. With the exhale, pull that left arm down, come back to neutral, and then inhale, reach. And then exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale. And exhale, we're going to lower the hands down, balance on the right leg. 
for support in Vera 3. <sighs> Eyes soft. Stay present, my friends. And we're going to exhale, step up the left foot to the right foot, hang out over your legs. Again, you can take the feet a little wider. And we'll slowly make our way back to standing. Drop the tailbone, slowly roll up. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale the hands back to the heart center. I'm going to turn towards you again. And let's take a moment to just soften the shoulders one at a time. Rolling them back. And it might even start to move into a little bit of a twist. A little free, slow flow movement. So imagine you're moving through your joints, your shoulders. Your hips may begin to move a little. We're going to do the other side of that, but this is just a little feed your joints, relax your body. Flow with your breath. And then come back to center. Don't come to a screeching halt. Let it just settle very naturally. Find your midline. We're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale out to the sides, clear it out. And again, inhale. Move with your breath. Exhale. Exhaling from the mouth and then letting the hands come back to the body. We'll come back to the top of the mat. Close your eyes. Ground through your feet. Let's reach the arms up, my friends. Inhale. Get really long vertical rise. And if you can, see if you can feel some energy moving down from the heavens down into your crown. Imagine that moon is just filling you with all of this light and radiance. And slowly fill your feet, your legs. Oh, what comes up for you, right? The full moon wants to fill you up. Fill you up. Are you resisting? Are you getting smaller? Get a little bigger. Get a little bigger, a little more porous. You have to say yes. You have to be receptive. And beautiful, all the way to the crown of your head. Uh, energy is filling you. And we're going to exhale now. We're going to receive it with a bow. We're going to fold forward over the legs. Take a full, deep inhale. And a long, deep exhale, friends. Left leg back. And Vera Badrasana one, with the right leg forward, we're going to inhale, rise. And again, that idea of circular rhythm. How do you feel in your rib cage? How does your breath feel? How does your inhale feel as you circle around? It's going to feel different than if you weren't circling around. Massaging into the organs. There's no wrong way. Just the invitation is, who am I in these moments? Take a full breath in. And we're going to exhale. Take a turn to the left. You'll see me. You'll see, and you'll see my back. So coming into goddess hands on your thighs. <clears throat> Roll the shoulders back and down with your exhale. Let's take a twist. Drop your right shoulder forward. Inhale, come back up, and exhale, other side, left shoulder forward. Look over your, I can see you, I'm looking over my shoulder. Inhale, and exhale, repeat that again, just side to side. 
Long spine, low belly in. And now we'll circle the arms up. So come back to center. We'll circle the arms in front of us and then open them wide. Take a deep inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale your hands to your hips, toes turn in, folding forward. Prasarita Padottanasana. So maybe your hands reach for your ankles. Let the stress drain out. The way we filled with all that light from the crown, can you remove any excess? Any excess stress? Not light, but stress out. Or saying anything that doesn't serve you, can you surrender to that? Okay. And sometimes it's not about, you know, getting rid of the thing that we don't want. It's just like, like I was saying, surrendering, like accepting what is, right? <laughs> That's part of the phone, it's part of life, but it's part of like just looking at what works and what doesn't work. What's staying, what's going. How do I move through this? We're going to inhale, find that halfway lift. Here comes triangle over the left leg. Right toes spin and left toes to the back. And then stacking. Your right arm over your left. So we grow from the ground in this triangle pose this evening. So I get quiet for a few moments. Where did you go? Did your mind take you somewhere? Just notice. We're going to come into Ardhi Chandrasana. So slide the left hand forward and come to balance on the left leg. So body strengthens mind and vice versa. Mind strengthens body. It goes back and forth. But the connection is through the breath, right? Take one more full inhale. We're going to exhale. Step your right foot to your left foot, turning to the back of the mat. Bow over your legs. Ah. Maybe sliding the hands under the feet, toes to wrists. Padangasasana or Padangasasana. Connection. Ah. Maybe that happens again. That external release, letting go. And then we'll slowly bring the hands back in front. We'll take the left leg back this time, lower down onto the left knee for Anjanayasana with the right leg forward, and we'll slowly inhale the arms up. And either to the base of the skull. Resting your head back in your hands. Hands to the low back. It's a soft radiance, but it's there, right? So lean into yourself and allow your front body to open and expand. The essence of back bending is that, yes? Most of the time we live in a different reality. The mind, coming out from the mind keeps us here. Right, a little more closed in the front body, the head's down, the chin's down. So this is very radical for our bodies and our minds, because our heights are like, hey, <laughs> I'm right here. Take a deep inhale, 
And maybe you move a little bit deeper with the hips forward. And then you can decide where, where you like to, to pledge your allegiance, if you will, your sovereignty. And we'll lower the hands down. And we'll curl the left toes. And I'm going to turn again to the left. Skandasana, side to side. Ah, clearing out any heavy energy through the feet, the legs, the hips, the low belly. And come and turn over your left leg, finding crescent pose. Left hand to your left hip, we're going to bend the right elbow in towards the right hip, and we're going to reach, inhale, and exhale. Lateral stretch and strengthening. Your body's so happy right now. We'll exhale, we'll lower the hands, we'll frame the left foot, and we'll come to balance on the left leg. Supported here at three. Spine lock, shoulder blades in the back, and navel in, my friends. Deep inhale, and with the exhale, step your right foot forward, feet as wide as your hips. Turn the toes out, coming to Malasana Squat. Close your eyes, we're grounding in Apana Vayu right now. So take a moment to just have some gratitude towards that flow, that uninhibited flow, that circular rhythm. <clears throat> Offering it up to your full moon. Uh, what do we say here? We'll say our full moon celebration. So we're going to lower the hands down. We're going to straighten the legs, come into a forward fold again. Three breaths. Maybe the hands come behind the back, interlacing the fingers and rinsing forward. So you can keep this really soft and light. You can go a little more intense. You're going to step your feet underneath your hips. Keeping your lower ribs on your thighs, drop your hips down and reach your arms forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And now exhale, lower the hands, lift your hips, interlace the fingers behind the back. Three breaths. And the next time you lower your hips down, you're going to keep the hands, bring them out in front, please. And if you can, interlace the fingers again, but cross the other thumb in front so you're switching. Breathing in and out. Deep frog squats. Up and up. We're grounding the up and up because the prana gets so high around the full moon. Take one more inhale. And we're going to exhale. Release the hands down. Lift your hips. And then slowly come all the way to standing. And we're going to do a little bit of ecstatic shaking. So start, take your feet a little wider than hip width and just start to shift. I know we don't have any music right now, but that's okay. We're going to make our own rhythm. Shift your weight side to side. <sighs> and your breath and just let the arms go. If you're at home, play all the music you want. It's a little tricky on Vimeo for us around these live classes. Figure it out. But there's always our inner sound or inner music. Everyone has their inner song, they say. So shake it out a little. And like just letting go, letting go, releasing what hasn't served you, what you don't need right now, today, tomorrow. <sighs> a little light jumping. <sighs> Boss call, because then we're going to go to the ground. We're going we're gonna to start to cool it down a little bit. <sighs> Not 
to a little light shaking. Shake the head. Ah, shake your heart. Ah. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> All right, I know we do weird things like that. Feels good. Okay. And then just take a moment. Take a moment to find stillness. Feel the tingling in your body. And place your hands back in your heart center. Just become very still for a moment and take a long deep breath into the nose. Long deep breath out for the nose. And again, stabilize through your breath. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out. All right. So bring the hands to the hips. Take the feet a little bit wider. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up. Let's exhale, fold forward over the legs, bow down over the legs, and then turn over, face the front of your mat, and slide your feet back so you're in downward dog, or you're coming into dolphin, where you lower down onto your forearms, maybe palms together. And let's take some breaths right here. Shoulder blades in the back, navel towards the spine. Heart open, right? I love dolphin because it's, I'm going to come out when you say in dolphins, like, it's like deep heart prostration, right? It's super powerful. So think about how we started with that heart kriya and everything we did was just really soft heart opening. So just tune in, tune into your heart, take another full inhale. And a long deep exhale, lower down onto the knees, take it into child's pose. Be present, don't go anywhere. These moments matter. Child's pose. I'm holding space for you right now. How does it feel to hold space for yourself in this moment? You got this, right? You can feel it like your higher self is more, like it's like he, she's on, it's engaged. I don't even know if higher self has a, a gender. Probably doesn't, because it's in the soul plane or beyond. So non-gender. <laughs> uh, but you know, you feel it. You feel a deep connection to source inside of yourself. So slowly rise up. And we're gonna come to sit. We're gonna extend the legs out in front. And we're going to take the right leg, cross it over the left, Vardhu Matsya and Yasana. Yeah, so the left leg is extended. We're going to keep it extended. And we're going to just catch that right leg and draw it in towards the sternum. So you can go a little bit deeper if you like, but don't feel driven by the ego. Like, you know, this is, there's a subtle difference between like ego desire and in your deeper soul desire. Ego is more attachment-based desire, like our, but the but the real pure higher desire comes from our connection to soul purpose and Shakti energy. Thank you, full moon energy. And we're gonna slowly come out, and we're gonna take that right foot to the inside of the left thigh, coming into. A twist first. So bring your left hand out and extend. Take the first two fingers of your left hand holding the new toe. Before we go any further, that right heel that's in Janu, Shirshasana, can be either to the inside of your left thigh or it might cross over so the angle's a little bit wider, or that heel is to the inside of your right thigh. But again, so we're going to hold the big toe, we're going to extend the right arm up, and then see if you can look towards your right palm. It firm in your seat. Ah, am 
My neck always likes to move a little bit in this twist, a little side to side. So if you have a lot of neck congestion, tension, you move it gently. Your right arm can also come behind the back, catching the inside of the left thigh. <sighs> Breathing, belly, lower ribs, upper chest. Slowly release that right arm back out. Bring it forward and cross over so that we're coming into Janusir Shasana over that left leg. So you might have to close up that ankle now. If you go a little wide, you can square the hips forward. You'll know because the outer right, the lumbar spine, the lower right side of your spine and torso. Um, if it feels too intense, then you want to close that angle up a little bit more, everyone. You want to feel a nice stretch, but not, not anything that feels burning or fiery. Just a nice, soft, little stretch. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to rise up and reach the arms up. I'm going to exhale, lower the hands, and then extend the right leg out. Just kind of walk the ankles, circle the ankles. <sighs> circle the rest, take a deep inhale. And we're going to exhale, pick up the left leg, cross it over Ardha Matsyandrasana. And you stay where you are. I'm going to turn so that I can still see you. Let's see, I might go back and forth on this one. TV land is a totally different reality. <laughs> we're teaching classes and seeing you. Doesn't need to see me. So we're in Ardha Matsya Andrasana. <sighs> Twisting sequence. Open and close your mouth, releasing your jaw. Any stagnation in the inner ear might release. Slowly release out of the twist, picking up the left foot, and again, foot to the inside of the right thigh, or a little wider. Can you see me? I have black pants on and a black mat. Extend your fingers and reach for the big toe. And then extend the left arm. Side to side. Slow your breath. Keep your left arm behind your back. See if you can get a nice hold on the inside of the thigh. Gently leaning back, rounding in your seat. So both sit bones. Easing over your left shoulder. Pulling back on that toe gently. And we'll exhale, we'll slowly release. Close up the angle a little bit and come and turn over your left, sorry, your right leg. And we'll slowly inhale, we'll rise. And come and face me. I'll face you. And we'll bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. And we'll bring the hands around the feet, interlacing the fingers. See if you can keep the feet parted <clears throat> slightly, though, so that the pinky toe side of the feet stays connected, but the rest of your feet are open like a book, and the knees will come a little wider. So rather than being up really high, that's extreme, um, and then lower the knees down, ground through your sit bones, gently rock your pubic bone forward. You hold on to your feet really strong. Your arms might even feel like they're working a little bit, 
those biceps, shoulder blades in the back, activating the muscles in the back of your spine, the upper spine rather. And then we're going to slowly start to come forward. Pause, take a deep inhale. Maybe an exhale from the mouth, clearing it out. Uh, let's do that, let's clear. We're going to breathe in. Exhale. Uh, oh, one more inhale. Uh, way up to seated, sitting in easy pose or maybe half lotus. We're going to do a little bit of breath work. So Chandra, Chandra is, ooh, many of you know that, but it's nice to hear these things over and over again. So Chandra, Chandra Vedana is when we're going to breathe through the left nostril, which is, this is the, the nadi or the, the channel or meridian that um, is connected to the moon energy, right? So we've got the moon and the sun, we've got ha, da, and yoga, that's the sun and moon. So we're honoring the moon right now. And so we're going to take the hand, the right hand, um, and we're going to do a little bit of closing off of the right nostril. There are many different ways to finger your nose, like when you're doing pranayama. I want to show you one way that I really like, and that is to take the, your two first fingers, your pointer and middle finger, up to your, right in between the eyebrows. Not quite the the... Ajna or Anja Chakra, but a little bit lower. And take your thumb to your right nostril and you're going to gently seal it off. Okay, and then we're going to begin. We're going to ex actually don't, don't seal it off yet. Let's exhale all the breath out through both nostrils. And we're going to inhale through the left. Actually, I'm doing this a little wrong. Take it and, and it felt weird. Bring your um, your ring finger to your uh, your left nostril. So you're going to be fingering both nostrils. But this is what we're going to do: is we're going to seal off the right. We're going to inhale through the left. Seal off the left. Exhale through the right. Seal off the right. Inhale, left. Switch and exhale, right. So basically keep going. You're inhaling left nostril, exhaling right. So we're activating the left channel. And now let's add a count, if you haven't already. Let's come together and breathe in on the left side for the count of four. Exhale for four. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Now inhale for six. Get a little longer on the inhale. Exhale for four. So stay with that rhythm. Really go in. Inhaling for six, exhaling for four. And the breath is not heavy. You're not pushing, you're not 
pulling, you're just allowing it to flow. See if you can even out the breath, six for six. Maybe you extend it more. For those of you that are familiar with more pranayama, you can even add a kumbha in between the inhale and the exhale. I would just add the kumbha there because we're looking for peak of that inhalation. But in this, we want to make sure the count on the inhale is greater or equal to the length of the exhale. Take one more round. When you're ready to exhale from the right side, you can take that exhale, release your hand, bring your hands into your lap, on your thighs, very still and quiet. Allow yourself to come down onto your back and rest. And if you feel like taking the shape of Supta Bhadakonasana, the soles of the feet together, the knees wide. And I would bring your hand to your chest and give it a few more taps right on the sternum. Gently knocking on that door. Breathing in and then slowly breathing out and then releasing and just lying on your back for some integration. Still. And I just wonder, I'm just curious about what your heart tells you, what your soul speaks about when you finally get into these quiet pauses. What quality of you shows up? What becomes available? What wants to be heard or felt or seen, experienced or remembered? These cycles are here to remind us. Even the moon, right? She's not associated with waking, but yet she it is saying, wake up, wake up to your own great mystery that lives inside of you. Your psychic powers, your intuition, your senses, your sensual body, your feminine body, even if you're masculine, wake up those things, those aspects. So let's come in and take a moment to maybe roll to one side. 
Trying to come up to sit. What a nice time together with you this, this evening. I really enjoyed the practice. And it does look a little cloudy and looking outside now, but you know, one other offering I want to make to you um, is when you can to like the moon date, right? And go out and just sit under the moonlight and let her fill you. And do it if you can with your eyes open. And Hold your gaze. It's the chakak fire, but it's the moon energy. Hold that and let it fill you. Let it very gently, lovingly fill you and nourish your bones, your joints, your tissues, the waters in your body. The soma, the ojas. So, uh, I love you. Bring the hands to the heart center. Say that to yourself. Close your eyes. I love you. I love you. And please remember the importance of sharing and expressing love in the world. It is what keeps us you know, um, moving forward and thriving. So from my heart to your heart, I send you big love, health, happiness, holiness. Until next time, let's take a deep breath in together. Long deep exhale, add maybe a little sound and let it drop down into your seat, shoulder blades in the back, grounding, rooting in this body, in this breath, hands to the third eye, an acknowledgement of source inside of you and outside of you with the three gaze and bowing, bowing towards your sisters and brothers with you or beyond in other places and towards the earth. We love her, we love the moon, namaste. Om Shanti Shanti.